This is the Slasher Tower in TDS, a pretty average melee unit in most respects. No crazy DPS, some cool cosmetics, except here's the catch. Currently, no one can get this tower, and it's been that way for a while. This tower has been unobtainable for over two and a half years, and that's just one of many items in TDS which are just impossible to get. I want to explore a variety of TDS's rarest, most secretive, and most interesting unobtainable items. Starting of course with the most well-known group, the Event Towers which have some pretty interesting traits, namely the nature of their existence. The limited time availability creates a sort of foil to the game's main quote unquote economy. Call it gatekeeping, call it OG, whatever it is, event towers are pretty unforgiving. You haven't constantly played TDS since its 2019 release, then you're not gonna have all of them. Aside from the natural link to their respective game modes, they only become available during the game's infrequent sales, some of which have yet to appear after three years. There are still three event towers I'm missing, and as such, it's almost a certainty I will never be able to fully complete my tower collection. But to be fair, it is almost impossible to get everything in this game, especially with the sheer amount of skins. Recently, Paradoxum has begun to re-release some older event skins, but they've yet to reach that deep back in the vault, and the oldest skins are likely to remain trophies forever, available to only a few. Something that appears much more accessible, the metal system. You might wonder, what is this? How can this be rare? The answer it's completely broken. This is basically a victory tracker system that records your wins, except now it's just a blank page for most people. I believe it has something to do with when you join the game, but it seems kind of weird and arbitrary. I have 39 medals, all very rare possessions, albeit essentially useless. During 2022 though, the time tracker still worked, acting as a hidden mechanic where you could see your fastest speedruns. But in 2023, after testing on both a new map and an unreworked one, I can confirm these no longer auto-update. So now they are 100% useless. And it's unfortunate that this system has been pretty much abandoned, as opposed to a somewhat recently reworked feature, FreeCam. Now, this is currently a pretty limited ability, so as someone with access to it, I kinda wanted to peel back the curtain a bit. Basically, by pressing Shift P, you can just move your camera anywhere. You can increase or decrease your field of view, and do things such as reset character or sell towers while in this mode. You used to be able to upgrade well in FreeCam, but not with the new UI. At one point, there's also this entire keyframe menu, except you probably probably never seen any tedious YouTubers use this. Personally, every time I tried to use this, my avatar and camera would just become stuck, and I had to rejoin the game, which was very annoying, and led to its removal around the Christmas 2023 update. Still, the base free cam is one of the rarest abilities in the game, currently only given to approved YouTubers and other high-ranking community members. As of right now, roughly 100 people have access to it. I believe the reason for its rarity being that, since you can place towers in free cam, you could use it to place units in illegal spots. But then again, I feel like they could just disable placing while in the camera, so I'm not really that sure. Comparatively though, it's even less rare than the developer-only towers. Now, these are pretty well-known at this point, and due to both their exclusivity and generally unique designs, they're some of the most desirable towers, with War Machine having approximately 70 owners, I think, and Mecha Base roughly 25 to 30, I believe. Rough estimate. Although they still seem to have potential for an eventual official release, they are currently unobtainable. But honestly, these aren't even that cool. Like, temperature-wise. Unlike this, an unclaimed Frost Invasion badge. This is my actual prized possession, okay? The 2021 event badge on my alternate account, which I have kept unclaimed for two years because it didn't log back in. Similar to the medals, it's a small aesthetic trophy that makes me disproportionately happy. Finally, there's one more item I want to examine, this name tag. Titled Static, it is currently, as the game description says, developer exclusive. So how did I get it? Basically, the developer Nexture ended up sniping me in game. It was late at night, and I was originally trying to get screenshots for this thumbnail. It was a very interesting game of Fallen, things got pretty funny, and he ended up giving me this tag part way through. Thank you, Nexture. Catface. It cycles the text through different sizes and positions quickly, and has a staticky, frequency-esque backdrop. Now this is a part of the new name tag system, a recent update which actually uh, ended up removing the tag from my inventory. Basically by unequipping the tag in this clip, I unequipped it forever. It's a bit depressing. I did kind of figure I wouldn't keep the tag forever, but losing it partway through this video was a uh, funny timing. It really is unobtainable now. In general, for most of TDS's unobtainable stuff, the availability is very rigid. If you missed your chance, you won't get another. And if you're not a certain person, you're out of luck. Still, in a way, it's kind of fun to have that rare stuff. Not really, at least. I love gatekeeping. <laughs> like, if a Swarmer or Commando Game Pass ever go on sale, I will literally smile from ear to ear. So, comment the rarest thing you have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.